the first time I was ever arrested for doing this was on September 12th. Uh, myself and another guy named John sat in the road in front of Open AI uh, in San Francisco, in front of their office um, with a sign that said Stop AI. And the cop showed up half an hour later and put us in handcuffs and took us to jail. And the whole situation was very um, peaceful, amicable, and uh, the cops were very professional. Um, but I mean, the, 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 the idea here is like, we don't really care about our, uh, our criminal records because if we're going to be dead here pretty soon, or if we hand over control, which will ensure our future extinction here in a few years, then, like your criminal record doesn't matter. The strategy is to plead what's called the necessity defense, which means what you're doing, uh, is just because there is some necessity, uh, to your actions and. I mean, we're trying to prevent human extinction and mass job loss and all these things. And, and, th and this necessity defense has worked for um, climate defiance groups in the past with doing similar tactics. Um, so we're hoping it works for us. And then these actions like blocking gates, maybe not blocking roads, but blocking gates will basically become a non-arrestable offense and we'll be able to do it till day's end. And that's a, that is an instrumental way that you could achieve a stop is by blocking every single entrance at every AI company. Um, there's a disconnect between the gravity of what we're saying and how we act. Yeah. And it's really hard because it's, it's very hard to act like the fate of all living things is in our hands. Like, what does that even look like? Right, right. I don't know what, what an appropriate appearance your at, you know, your countenance is if you are really truly bearing that out, but there's been an urgency to this movement so far. And you guys are cranking it up like two notches. Um, and so I think that's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of psychology behind how people deal with extreme um, threats. And, um, you know, peaceful civil disobedience may not work. And this may be a futile effort, but, you know, violence isn't going to work. So we at least have to try. It is really difficult to find people who understand this problem and are also willing to get arrested. Like that is an extremely small number right now. But if you look at the website of Pause AI, and they're still talking about like maybe, you know, like, like the alignment problem might be unsolvable. So in that reason we should stop. But like, like but you know, like if, if we can solve it, quote unquote, if the researchers say they've solved it, um, there is this kind of implication that you could unpause. And I think yeah, that, that's the, the, the actually deeper kind of argumentation. Why this is a really bad idea. Why kind of pausing, even if we could like metaphorically press the pause button, which is maybe something else I disagree with. I think we just need to pile on the restrictions in, in, in an ethical way. Um, yeah. But, if, but even if we could unpause for a while and, and sorry, pause for a while and then unpause again, uh, what Sam and I both think is that that would eventually cause extinction. We're, we're talking about anything with capabilities greater to or exceeding Chash APT4 needs to be immediately destroyed. They don't actually care about humanity or the earth in general. And the only thing they really care about, and they don't even care about money or power. The only thing they care about is just attaching their legacy to the creation of a mind that will live forever and expand out into the universe. And they don't care if it kills them and everyone along with it. For Sam, Alvin, I, would, it. I would say he cares about power, but I think he also likes that narrative. <laughs> but Holy shit, but that's, that. Sam, that's crazy. So, so I've I've often thought like, um, what is the point of like being the king of this shit if there's nothing left afterwards, right? If if there's no humans, what is your repute? What is the value of your reputation? But that's crazy. What you just said that the forever ASI thing he thinks will bear his. We'll have a little tattoo that says Heart Sam yeah, yeah. off forever as it bops around the galaxy. Yeah, yeah Sam A. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and, that's an, and, and that's better than any reward on Earth today. Yep. And that's why, you know, oh, we're, we're not profit. We don't need money. Oh, like all this, well, he's just lying through his teeth.